Hello everybody, it's Roger from Roger Miguel Custom Paintings. Um, today we're gonna do a lacquer job. I kind of prepped everything out so we didn't have to go through it uh, time by time because it's a lot of time, but I'll show you. Covered the, la the washer dryer, covered the top, fresh countertop, covered that right there. Covered the floor with some rosin and paper because the rosin and paper has paper, a thin layer of plastic, and then paper. So it's like a three layer thing. Uh, rosin and paper is real, real good for any finishing, covering your bathrooms, kitchens, anything's good. This is the back side. You don't need to do the back side. All right. All we did right now is uh, I'm actually going to do a light sand on it because I did shoot a light a light coat of uh, sander sealer on it. You can't see it, though, but that's what it looks like right now. Got a new tablet doing everything on our tablet, so maybe everything looks a little better, all the pictures and everything else I show you guys but yeah uh, when you sand something like this um, it's got to be really 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 light you don't want to disturb nothing or take nothing off you just want to take the little bumps and whatever else you could not get off so that's what you do and then you clean it with the uh, it's called a tack cloth I call them cheese cloths but they're called tack cloths uh, here they are right here. This is what you use. See, it says tag cloth. That's what you use to wipe these things down real, real good. All right. And again, I just got a little pump out here today. Look at my baby girl right here. She looks good. So, uh... We're going to get to it again. I'm just going to do some light sanding. Like I said, don't disturb nothing. Don't need to do that. So uh, when I'm shooting something or spraying, I'll record it and I'll show you guys how to do that too. All right. Stay tuned, stay tuned for the next step.